Hey guys, Propus is back, and in today's video we have a few easy methods to get in the GTA 5 meth lab. A couple of them are solo, and one of them is free to do, so stay tuned. Okay you guys, so the first method we actually have on a different video, and if you guys haven't already seen it on this channel, we posted it about two and a half years ago, and ever since then it just blew up. It got like 10-15 thousand views. And we'll link that to you right now. It should be still working. It involves a dump truck and a fire truck. Pretty simple, maybe three, five minute process as long as you have the dump truck. And so with that, let's move on to the next one. All right, so the first method involves just a bulldozer. Um, all of them are free. What you're gonna do is you're gonna come to this spot on the map. I like to see this as a dirt bike track, although this is like a construction area. And there are bulldozers all over the place in here, but this is one area. So you're gonna come in here um, unfortunately, you're gonna have to drive for like 10 minutes all the way over there, so this may not be the best method, but if you if you don't have a million dollars that you wanna spend on the dump truck, then this will be the, probably the best method for now. Okay, so you'll want to drive the bulldozer all the way over to this spot, uh, this store perpendicular to Sandy Shores Airfield. Um, and if you did make it here without losing your shit, congratulations, because I almost did. Um, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do is back this all the way up into the store. I know it's hard to see because it's, it's dark. Hold up on the stick, whatever stick you're using on whatever console, and you're gonna have to ram it kind of into the wall and make sure that the scoop of the bulldozer sticks up a little bit. Next, you'll want to climb on the top, shoot out the window, make sure that every single pane is gone or else this won't work. Once you've broken all the glass, you'll want to come up here, uh, keep pressing X in the center and then eventually you'll find your way in. Just to give you guys a quick tour, if you didn't see the last video that we made obviously two and a half years ago, I'm sure you didn't. If you want to check it out for the first actual first method, go ahead and do it now um, and then come back to the video if you want to. Obviously, I'll just give you guys a tour for right now and then we'll be on to the next part. For this next method, what you're going to want to do is get a dump truck and place it in the exact same position as we did on our last GTA 5 meth lab video. This is a solo method, however, we are going to use two people to make it much faster. So right now, Steve is going to attempt to get his oppressor on top of the Ace Liquor Store and eventually go to the gravel part on top of the dump truck. Okay, so now that I'm up here, all I have to do is just break the glass and line it up right about here on the hill. Press the left trigger in. And you'll somehow... Am I in? I, okay, yeah, I actually teleported in. Alright, so that should happen, or at least you'll get flung in, and you'll just go right in instead of having to wait like I did. Okay, so this is going to be the hardest and last method we are going to show you guys. What you want to do is go on Joshua Road with your oppressor with gliders enabled. Go between the 24-7 billboard and the tattoo billboard, and fly low to the ground, but still have elevation towards the Ace Liquor Store. Thankfully, I got it first try, but this may take you a lot of attempts. And just like that, you're in the GTA 5 meth lab. Alright, so that wraps up the video, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to drop us a comment of what you want to see next. If you want us to do more of these type of videos, if you want us to do more of Let's Plays, let us know. And if you did enjoy the video, drop a like and subscribe. Drop us out.